Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck and today we're back in Osiris New Dawn and it is early afternoon in Proteus 2 and we are going to be going to the moon today but I want to stop and uh, get some Azrium, check that out. Also, I have a list of items that I need to take with me and I should have them all packed in here and on my person. Um, so let's go through the list, shall we? We need 97 aluminum. We have 149 on us. We need 109 steel plates. We have, what, 300, uh, 250. Good to go. <laughs> um, we need uh, lithium 10. We're bringing 39 with us just in case because it's uh, using multiple things that we're going to be making. We need uh, four plutonium because of the fact that we need it for the forge. We also, again, for the iron and aluminum. For the lab, we're going to need uh, a bulk of the steel that I listed. But we also need 10 wire. 10, 10, 10 wire. 20, I have 25 on me. And now we also need five wire for the um, for the hover bike that we're going to be making. So that's a 15 total of the wires. We'll have 10 left. We also need a total of four circuit boards. We're bringing 22 just in case. You never know what else we're going to be making. Also, the gold is needed for something. I can't remember what, but I'm bringing it anyway. <laughs> and uh, oh, I think it has to do with maybe one of these. I don't, I don't know. But either way, I'm bringing enough to make both of these. Um, we're gonna make a forge. We're gonna make a depository. We're gonna make the laboratory, and we're gonna make a vehicle. That the the plan is not to move to the moon like right now, or if we ever do. But the plan is to explore it. We're going to take, I hope I brought beacons with us. I only am bringing three. But uh, I would like to at least put down some of the main locations on the planet. That way if we need um, tungsten, because I think tungsten actually uh, is dropped there. Then we will have a location to go get tungsten and other materials. So that is the plan. We should have enough, by the, by the way, I'm bringing hydra hydrazine because of the fact that um, the, this vehicle here doesn't require it, but the hover bike will. I should also have enough, enough extra uh, items to be able to make a fuel depot. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's go to space. <laughs> All right, so we're getting on board. By the way, I'll, I do like flying this way if uh, if it's the best for the situation. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just we'll aim straight up. And that is actually where, go, where we're going. Um, I don't know what the name of it is at the moment, but once it tells us that we can, maybe we need to tip up higher, we're going to go to space. All right, so now we're going to slow down. There is the planet that we want to go to, but first off, we're going to come down. Oh my goodness. Where are all the asteroids? Asteroids? Okay, there's some. Are there any close to us, though? Not really. You know, we can we can get Azrium when we come back. There's nothing that we can use it for right now. I just want to stockpile it. At some point so wherever it was okay so here we are we're, it's as as eel I think that's how you'd say that fourth moon of Theseus Prime really like that Theseus Prime kind of name and the gravity is 0.52 heavier than Earth's atmosphere as well as it is uh, between negative 478 Celsius to 82 negative Celsius. I don't know what the Celsius um, is to Fahrenheit, but I am guessing that's that's. I guess that's good. Bad, very bad. I mean, we we would die instantly if we actually were in that kind of um, 
atmosphere. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and press space and it looks like it's going to do a loading screen. So I'll go ahead and get you guys to not have to worry about that. Let's go ahead and go. Okay. So here we are. It is bright. And um, just looking at the landscape, I mean, can I get an idea of where I want to go on this? So, seeing a lot of valleys and hills. I guess you don't really get to choose very much, do you? I mean, if, if there was something that was particular that you could see that says, hey, I want to go there, then I, I would do that. All right, let's just go down. We got to get some speed and uh, we'll find a place to land on the planet, uh, set up our laboratory first, and of course our inflatable so we have a place that we can uh, call back to. I really don't want to have to put a, uh, a, oh my goodness. Okay, let's go ahead and slow down. I cannot see anything. Okay. All right, we're in a valley of some some sort. Definitely very rocky. Okay, I now see uh, gases over here. So I'm on this little plateau here. I wonder how how well the hoverbike's going to be able to handle this terrain. Okay, this is what they call the outskirts. It's kind of the same on our planet, so we're not gonna we're not gonna stay on the outskirts. We're gonna try to head on into the planet a bit. Maybe if I could at least see some kind of I don't know I don't know um, nodes nodes would be nice. Survived a day. Woo! Okay, we're back in the Outlands. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go ahead and I don't know which way to actually go for this. Okay, I see some pillars over here. Let's go ahead and slow down a little bit. Okay, we'll go this way. Do you see any, like, stuff on the ground? I'm not seeing anything on the ground. I mean, just give me some kind of resource. Some kind of resource and I'll be happy to, happy to land. Wait a minute, here's something. It looks like a plutonium field. Plutonium, precious metals, base metals, guessing that's just straight aluminum. Alright, so this isn't actually a bad spot to just uh, put hand lithium right there. All that, in that nice space there. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and gather uh, everything we need. For the laboratory first. Oh, you good? <laughs> um, we'll go ahead and put our inflatable down. And we're going to put it kind of like that. Like on this little shelf here, I think. There. Now we should have the ability to... Are you alright, man? You don't like your, your landing position? Is that what's going on? Inflatable. Alright, there we go doesn't like it he does not like it go with that let's move him over a little bit then he's not gonna like that either <laughs> there's our planet setting Actually, oh, wait, get, get, oh, didn't get it turned, but you good now? Good now, buddy. Good, good, good now, buddy. All right, all right, so we need, 
Um, we need 92 steel. Three should cover it. Did I get three? Did I get nine? What? Okay, I got 150. There we go. We need uh, the wire. Uh, it's on me. Need the computer components. We need all the copper. Need lithium. And that should be it, I believe. Let me go ahead and I think this is actually this plateau up here or this flat, this um, Kansas, if you will. It will be a good place for this. So, what am I missing? Gold. Gold. Need 20 gold. Hopefully, I brought enough. I'd be bad if I didn't. Okay, got 40. Just enough. Alright, so... Come on, buddy. Get smart. I'm talking about myself. <laughs> Let's get, get a little... Um, let grab all of it because we're going to need... Um, We're going to need 72 aluminum for this. Where's my little house there? Okay. Make that. And if I brought every, or if I got everything I need, I should be able to, uh, uh, just go up in here and build these walls without any problem. Should. And this is <laughs> this is uh, how I, I I get I got really prepared for this one just because I knew that I wanted to bring a lot of stuff, uh, wanted to make a lot of things, but you there's so much you can carry on your vehicle and on yourself that uh, I wanted to make sure that I was good to go so this is made um, while wow, the, the wind is so hard I can't even see where okay did I miss a panel oh there we go <clears throat> so the only thing I'm missing out of all of this is plutonium and diamond so uh, i'm glad i brought a, a good amount of plutonium because i forgot about that on my list yep it says right there five plutonium <laughs> and then five diamonds so let's go ahead and grab the diamond the plutonium a good thing we have a plutonium field here too and i'm gonna go ahead and keep myself hydrated as best as i can just because I want to keep track of of my 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 process. Okay, so you do not have all titanium. Maybe I should have moved that vehicle up here. Just just saying. Come on, titanium. Okay, we can get titanium. We brought some extra with us as well. Once we get this built and get the vehicle build, I don't know how much daylight we're going to actually have or how this place is for that kind of thing. But I also have some other things I want to make before we go traveling. So there we go. Make our hover bike. Test her out real quick. Oh, geez. This is so bad. All right, so we have the inflatable targeted. It's 160 meters per second. That's not bad. All right, so we're good to go. Let's go ahead and get over here by the inflatable and start making stuff. All right, so I do have this. Let's go ahead and place this down. Mm 
by the way you can see that the temperature is going down and if I come in here it will I mean it's changing my temperature some but it just levels out at a point and then if I go right back out it's going to turn orange really fast you can see how fast it's going down I mean it's went straight to 7.7 percent so um that's not good all right so let's go ahead and make ooh ooh okay let's grab everything else that's in in here then can't think of what i'm missing oh probably the iron Um, how much steel did we have left? We had enough steel. The glass. We need glass. Man. This is not a very habitable place. It look. It seems like only in the morning is it good for you to actually um, do anything. So, Alright, so we're going to put down the printer... What am I missing? I have that in the ship too. Let's get it. So I guess because of this, this uh, coming soon stuff, maybe that'll be that you can use the cloth to make liner to be able to withstand cold and then also be able to put a different liner in to withstand extreme heats. Eh, I don't know. I'm just theorizing here, but uh, yeah, maybe that's maybe that's the purpose of all that vehicle. I'm gonna color that vehicle too because I think you can color all three sections of the vehicle. I may be completely wrong about that, but if I remember correctly, that was a thing. So we're gonna put this. I'm gonna put this like over here. Then we're going to go ahead and put this right there. And then we're going to put a very last one there. And do we have enough to make a depository? And we'll put this on this side, I guess. Boom. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and pull out the tool here. Customize. We're going to go ahead and go with what? Like black? Okay, so it is coloring both of them, I think. I can't even tell the color. <laughs> it's so bad. Here, let's make it green. Wow, you, um, let's make this red. I can't even see what it's changing. It's that ridiculous all right did it only change it for that side it looks like it um i but i can't tell let's use a light oh my god <laughs> this is hideous that is that is hideous um but i'm gonna keep it that way <laughs> just because it it looks interesting all right uh let's go ahead and get on it real quick uh it does have a pretty good light on it Mm, it, but it doesn't change the fact that our temperature is low. I'm guessing by going faster going on this, it's going to... Oh, it's definitely decreasing. Because now it's at 4.8. Where it was at 7.7. .7. Does this have a gun on it? It does not have a gun. So I'm fine with that. Can you do a... You can't change views. can't be in a first person view or anything. Well, um, I guess I'll go ahead and start going this way. And if I feel like I can't... What, was was that a thing? Is that... Tungsten? Should 
probably should have put stuff back in the in the um <laughs> name this name name it name whatever this thing is oh my goodness it is horrible it's horrible um let's go ahead and get the tungsten started because we can i brought specifically um 16 uh, or 15 rounds of assault magazine so that we can make this if we were able to get our hands on tungsten so we need to go ahead and make the tungsten so it's showing nickel is another thing we can uh, make if we can find any of that and uh, I think that's it that's all we can make with things so I don't know what to do with this this cold situation do I just keep coming in here just the health set response so <laughs> you know I don't know what else I could do but just staying in here at night and I'm not going to do that. So we're going to put stuff away. Get our vehicle. Okay, there it is. And yeah, we'll just throw everything in here. Let's just sort it real quick. Got our beacons. Throw that in there. Throw that. Nope, we want to keep that. All right. Come on, man. Oh, man, we're at 2.1. Uh, refuel with hydrogen. Oh, what is the fuel on it? Before I use that much fuel, that is a problem. Okay, so I'm definitely going to have to take hydrazine with me. I need to put down a fuel depot, too. Um, hydrazine, that is made with... Yes, yeah, this. Hydrazine is made with... Nitrogen, hydrogen, and a glass container, which I brought some with me. And what do I need to uh, make the gas depot? Copper, steel, rubber. All right, let's go ahead and make it. We're at point nine. What happens if it gets like at zero? I mean, it's. This is in our suit. It's not in our actual. Hmm. I can't even remember what I just said. Something, something, and something. I think that was it. Um. Okay, there it is. So if I run, it does heat me up, but only for a small amount of time. What was I doing? <laughs> what was that I, ma I was making? Uh, help me, I'm lost. Um, maybe there's something over here? I can't remember now. <laughs> oh, fuel depot. Fuel depot. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's go ahead and make one of these. Uh, we need to have this facing outward. Alright, let's go ahead and get warmed up, I guess. See, now it's taking us right up to 20 again. So, outside is just insane. And I don't know... I don't know what we can do to fix it without having some kind of liner in our suit. I mean, there there wasn't anything that was available, I guess, uh, in our travels. We'll be able to find out. So, oh, there's lava or something that's glowing over there. I'm guessing it's lava, though, because I was told that there was going to be lava. All right. I'm going to go ahead and wait for daylight and uh, 
see how it goes then. Okay, so now it's daylight. Um, it's still bringing our temperature down, but that's not too bad. All right, I want to go ahead and move um, at least half of the hydrazine from here. Um, to the container there, and then we'll deal with the rest afterwards. So let me go ahead and take, sort this up, and drop that. Go ahead and throw these in. So that's one, two, three, four, five, okay, four and four. So we'll put four in just to see how much it puts into one of these. Um, and I made the wrong one apparently because this is only for gas. I thought I made the liquid one. Fantastic. So let's go ahead and throw that back into our inventory. And we're going to go ahead and destroy it. Now we need to make the, the real one, the one that we actually wanted. We can find it. The liquid. Hey buddy, what you doing all the way over there? All right, there we go. And we're gonna put this into here. So about 8%, this should be 16. Okay, it's a little bit more. All right, so, <laughs> oh my goodness, that looks even more funny in the daytime. All right, so let's go ahead and take these out. And we need to go ahead and drink. And we'll go ahead and eat. By the way, this is how many baked potatoes I have now. From just making the uh, potato farm. And then here's my steamed carrots that I have. Trying to save alien meat because the alien meat can be used to make stew, which is supposed to be a little bit better than this. Like 75 nutrition instead of 50. Alright, so now we just need to put everything back in our inventory. And I'm going to go ahead and put bandages just in case. And then that. Okay. So we have hydrogen just in case. And then we can actually go up to here now. Oh, hello. Why, why are you doing that? Why? 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 What? Why? It's supposed to do it... Really? Okay, it is, you can see that it fueled it. Um, it's just weird that it's fueling it the way it is. <laughs> okay. So, I think what we're going to do is... Can we get... Um, we're going to go in this direction. And just if we see anything that's different, then we'll stop, take a look at it, and then we'll move on. Oh my god, okay. Uh, that's just the rock, it looks like. If we can even see anything, is what I'm saying. Okay, you can handle that. This is looking very, very barren at the moment. Are you good? Are you good, buddy? Okay, so we went to one of the wasteland portions... Let's go ahead and head this way for a little bit. And then we'll jolt, uh, jolt back across something like this. Oh my goodness, why are you? Why, why, why do you? Okay, there's more. It's alum that's aluminum, yeah. Watch, we're going to come right, there's our stuff right there. <laughs> oh hello 
lava. Obsidian. Cool. Let's grab some of it. Won't don't need it. Doesn't it's not used for anything, but we'll we'll take it with us. Look at how fast this thing is running out of fuel. Um, I'm scared to take it too far away from our house. I should have just brought the crab stuff and made a crab. Also, talking about the crab, uh, Rufus, I'm not even seeing any uh, any fauna on this planet at all. What's with that, guys? Not not you guys, the guys who made the game. I mean, if I remember correctly, I may be wrong because it's been a while since I played, but back in the day, uh, you were able to go to the other planet and there were, uh, or the moon, that's what this is, is a moon, and you were able to find animals. And now I'm finding nothing. It's a rock oddly out in the middle of nowhere. base okay so tungsten is apparently a base these are some pretty deep crevasses crevasse crevasse places come on you can do it you can do it You got it. There you go. I just noticed that uh, whenever I use the uh, shift to um, to do anything, it actually puts a circle around my thing saying, Hey, fool, you're wasting your gas. <laughs> Alright, I'm not seeing any of... Any gases, any other materials, though, how far have we even traveled on this, to be honest? Alright, I am going to stop and um, throw some fuel in this. Can I just press G in it automatically? Oh, no, I have to, you know, I have to put it on my bar. Alright, hydrazine. Fill her up. Nope, that's not to fill her up. Really? I have to tap every time. Okay, now it's full. Fully powered. Oh, that's not bad then. It only took one, one and a half. All right, let's continue on. Hopefully the the weather <laughs> will um, subdue at some point because now we're starting to get into the chilly point of the day. I think what we're going to end up doing is if we can't find anything, um, I'm going to go ahead and leave it to you guys to let me know if you've seen anything in the game that is on the planet and I mean if there was if there was a civilization that was here at one point and there was people maybe they have the technology to make better suits I, I, I'm, just, I'm just saying or something maybe maybe they found people and those people had things that uh, we don't have access to at the moment this is Oxygen and nitrogen, you know one thing I haven't been seeing is hydrogen on here So if you want to bring fuel, you're gonna have to make it on the other planet. It seems like All right, and I'm seeing the rings from There Where it's our planet still in the sky Because I don't want to get off of this planet at some point Again, nitrogen, oxygen over there. 
I thought there was supposed to be like nickel, nickel on this on this planet as well. All right, let's go ahead and start heading back. Let's go ahead and uh, actually let's get off here and oh no, not that. There we go. Inflatable. See how fast we can get back. So. I was hoping a whole lot more. I was expecting something else. But number one, you can't even see more than maybe half a mile in front of you. And if you do, it's just like ghosts or outlines of things like this. Um, these things here. Wait a minute. Is that? No, nope, that's nitrogen. Um, it's not like you can actually see things in front of you very easily I was going the wrong way <laughs> uh, so I, I I don't know I don't know how else to to look through this maybe if I what I'll do is on my way out or on my way back up to space I'll go ahead and just survey the land a little bit more in my spaceship and see if maybe by getting above the fog you'll be able to see more probably won't be able to though uh, as you saw whenever we came in. So, I mean, it the planet looks really good. I, I gotta say that I am not disappointed by the planet itself. It's rocky, you know, just like it said it was. Um, it's very cold. So it is, I mean, this is second level or, um, yeah, second level uh, survival meaning that it's much harder than surviving on the other planet. Just think if you had to survive on this planet first to go to the other planet. That would be ridiculous. That would suck so much. But uh, maybe, maybe like in multiplayer, it would be fun if you could have one person on the primary planet and one person on the secondary planet or on the moon and the first person is trying to race to get to the moon to be able to pick up their friend. And the friend is just trying to do everything they can to survive. Because, uh, again, I'm not seeing any hydrogen. Hydrogen is what's required to make water. Uh, what kind of water supplies do you have? That kind of thing. That's what I'm thinking here. And that that'd be pretty scary to me. Just, just saying. Alright, so land here. And it's going to go up in the air for some reason. There we go. Are you... There you go. You're inside the box. Okay, you can see it's going down. So it is fueling it. Alright. I think if we can see our planet at all, uh, we're going to go ahead and head back home. Get some Azrium uh, in the atmosphere, though. So let's go ahead and board. And uh, say goodbye for now to the moon. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Is, are, is that us being able to look at the, at the sun? What is that? Oh, can we go to it? Let's go up. Let's go. Let's go. God, come on. <laughs> let me let me go. Let me fly into the to the heavens. Let's see what's going on here because I have never seen that before. Are you still there? Oh, it is the sun. You are able to see the sun from the planet. You know, I completely forgot the fact that I was supposed to be like skimming the planet and everything. I was like, "Wow, what is that?" That is cool that you can actually see the moon from um, from the planet surface because of all the the fog and the the cold and everything that's being breezed by. So bad news though <laughs> is we cannot see our planet. So 
we're kind of stuck up here we can go back down either way um, our planet won't be available until closer to nighttime I believe because this is um, probably noonish I guess on the planet but that is amazing I wasn't expecting that actually it looks really dark now why would it be dark with the sun in the sky like a big piece of pie tomorrow <laughs> let me go back on the planet oh my goodness what in the world have I come back to where's the where's the sun again does this does this planet dull the sun completely what's going on I can't see anything I cannot see a thing I mean, am I clo Oh my goodness, I am close to the ground. Look at that. That is amazing. Just the color and everything. And then you have the, like, the fire coming out over here. That is so cool. I really like this. I, I really do like the planet at night. Um, let's see. I mean, just look at the colors that you that you can see. I mean, you can see the fire here. We're able to actually see a whole lot more at night, which is kind of odd. You would think you wouldn't be able to see more. What in the world, man? This is this is pretty cool. I wish there was some kind of animals that came out at night, though. Um, I mean, it's it. I mean, from this perspective, it looks neat, but during the daytime or la whenever you're actually on the ground, actually now I can't even see anything. And there's our there's not our planet. That is not our planet. So we survived another day. Hooray! Okay, so our planet should be coming up like over on this side at some point. But it looks weird because it looks like the stars are on the ground. I don't even know where we're at anymore. We're like 3,000 meters away from our home. So, I'm going to go ahead and land and just see what it is that we land on. Okay, we landed on the flat ground. Yeah, <laughs> I can't even see anything. Look at, I mean, look, look at the distance that you can see with the flashlight. It's just that really deep dark, a nice cold winter's day kind of thing. All right, well, um, I am going to just sit around until the planet is visible, and I will. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are back uh, in our atmosphere, not atmosphere, but in space over uh, planet, and we're gonna try to get some Azrium see how this whole deal goes down so i'm not i mean every, there's rocks all around me but i'm not seeing one that's just like easy to get to that i can see the stuff on i'll i'll check this one but um yeah there's something right there let's go ahead and slow down kind of do want to get down in there into those guts Guess that's uh, best place to do it. Um, no. Good. Good. There we go. F. F. Are we not stopped? Just at zero. Okay. 
So we should be able to press control, go down. Suddenly this doesn't allow you to do what you can do like in Space Engineers, which is like rotate uh, on the Z axis, those kind of things. So you're pretty much just limited to what it allows you to do. So uh, it kind of sucks, but it's okay. We'll get, we'll get it done. We'll get it done. Like say we're having to slide over this way and then we'll go in. All right, slow, slow. Okay, there we go. It's bright. Um, did we get all of it? I would say so. All right, let's go ahead and look for more. Where's my vehicle? Where is it? Where is, okay. Really? Spaceship. It's telling me it's this way. Okay, it's up above me. So let's go ahead and get a look here. There's one down there. Ooh, I just noticed something. Uh, our oxygen is not going back up. So that must be what the oxygen uh, canisters or containers were for. Is so that while you're in space, you can refuel your oxygen. So I'm at 62% here. If I go down and don't move, uh, it's looking like it's not... Um, it's not taking from my oxygen. It's only when I move forward and back. So I might be able to get this node. Then I'll have to go back to my ship. <laughs> that looks pretty far away from me. Um, we're going to give it to 50. We're going to give it to 50. If, if we can't get to that, harvest it by 50. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. There we go. Um, cutting it closer. And, oh, come on. Come on. Work with me. Moving towards it and it's pushing me up or something. Okay, now I need to get back to my ship. What? Okay, that's cheaty. Um, yeah, that's kind of cheaty, but oh, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. So let's go ahead and land. And I think what we're going to do is I have to find a place to put our, um, our vehicle bays, uh, the place that I'm going to actually build at. And, uh, all right, self-right yourself. And then we'll slow down a little bit, see where we're at kind of out on the outskirts here I meant okay there now we're heading in our direction so I'm looking here okay there's that what I'm thinking is maybe um, right here let's land it oh it's too fast too fast too fast it's gonna hit Land it. <laughs> oh my guess. There we go. So I'm thinking this area would be perfect. It's nice and big and open. Uh, if we put our ship in that direction and then say come out over here like a door that leads into here and uh, then comes out this way and then we'll have all of our other vehicles back in this area something like that 
I don't know. I want to work on the design. I'm actually going to make a second character and go into the, um, there's the ability to play in, um, it's not custom. It's, it's kind of like in Minecraft, whenever you can, uh, play without, uh, having to worry about resources or anything like that, just to test it out. Can't think of it, but I have that ability, so what I'm going to do is make another character, play around with how they connect, and then um, then we'll decide how this is all going to look. I, I, I'll, like, sketch up something, I guess, and then we'll, we'll get to making it in the next episode. But anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. This has been Cypher Deck. Peace out.